What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2022 laddering session. Like, I, I usually just record, like, how do I say it? Usually I, like, upload live stream highlights for my in-game content, but I, I don't know why. I just didn't have a video ready for today, so I, I wanted to do in-game content, so we're gonna be doing, like, a like a road to rank style thing. Uh, but yeah, anyways, uh, we're gonna be doing this. I... Haven't played on cartridge in a couple of weeks because I've been so busy, uh, but let's see what we can do. We're going to be using this Mewtwo team, uh, and it's going to be fun. You know, Mewtwo is a very interesting Pokemon. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, do me a favor, leave a like in the video. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because I bring you daily VGC content. And that's my comment question of the day. What do you think the Psychic type needs as a buff? I have a feeling Psychic type is getting slowly weaker as the generations go on there it, it might be because bugs getting better and dark is getting absurdly good i don't know what do you think what do you think we, we need we need to fix this type but yeah uh let's go ahead and get into it so obviously we have the expert belt mewtwo with ancient power expanding force uh energy ball and shadow ball uh we have a slower zashin crowned uh, it's going to be one point slower than the Mewtwo because we can actually go for Max Phantasm into a Behemoth Blade to drop their defenses. We have a Assault Vest Thunderous. Uh, we have our Fake Out Grim Snarl with Light Screen and Light Clay, uh, as well as Reflect. We have our Safety Goggles and Cinderer, and we have Leftovers Ferrothorn. Let's try not to lose too much today. I mean, we're I, I it's we're literally in Great Ball tier right now because. I, I haven't played it all this season yet on cartridge. I've, I've been like just prowling showdown with random meme teams all season. Uh, but yeah, let's see what we can do. Also, I have no sound output on my end. You guys can hear the sound, hopefully. Uh, but I can't because <laughs> because I was dumb and I uh, lost an HDMI cable. So I only have like the, the, the switch being wired into the capture card, but the capture card isn't wired into anything else. Like I, I like can't hear it there are no speakers but yeah um i actually quite like grim snarl and mewtwo on lead versus charizard because i can actually fake out the whimsicott preventing a tailwind and then just absolutely annihilate the charizard usually resulting in a forfeit but we'll see if we can get that lucky today i'm gonna bring the zashin as well as our good friend they have no intimidators uh but i think incinera is gonna be quite good here but yeah let's see what we can do I'm also still getting over uh, my little sickness. I, I think I might have an ear infection at this point, man. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, I'm just consistently sick at this point, <laughs> which kind of sucks because it's like the time of year where I want to be outside. I mean, I have been going outside. I'm just like, you know, stuffed up and stuff because allergies and maybe a sinus infection or whatever. I'll figure it out. But <laughs> OK, this is exactly exactly the lead I wanted. And do you know why? Do you know why? Because we can likely get get a turn one win pretty much here uh, by going for this big nasty fake out onto the Whimsicott and do that. And uh, we're just going to immediately lock in our Expert Belt Unnerve Max Rockfall into this Charizard. If it Dynamaxes, we essentially win. Let's see. Please Dynamax your Charizard turn one. Please not expect the big nasty Rockfall coming out from a Mewtwo. We'll take a sip of this coffee. Come on. I just, I need this serotonin boost for my morning. Please. This is all I request. Think that a max uh, wildfire safe, please. Please, like, th that's all I need. All right. So my Dynamax goes first. That's good. That's good. That means that nothing weird happened. But it, it leaves the uh, <laughs> it leaves the, the the little anxiety that maybe they didn't Dynamax because I didn't get the immediate feedback from it. So uh, Charizard, please become big so I can have my serotonin or dopamine or whatever it is. Okay, all is good in the world. Uh, this Charizard has no chance of living this unless they're running like a ton of defensive EVs or like special defensive EVs. There's no chance they live this. Uh, obviously, Unnerve turns off the Charty Berry, and, uh, yeah. So, what do you guys think about the, uh, the Indiana regional results? Like, there was no Rinya Sun anywhere in top 16. The only time we saw it was in top 32, and it literally got 31st. Alright, goodbye, Charizard. Your time on this earth is over. Goodbye. 
and it's gone. And that's why we run the expert belt, because the expert belt's disgusting. Awesome. So, I mean, there's usually a Zacian or a Groudon in the back. At this point, my plays are pretty straightforward. I'm going to go for my Reflect. Uh, I'm going to hit everything not named Whimsicott, because we can more or less ignore Whimsicott at this point in the game. Uh, unless it's got Encore, it could be a little bit annoying, but I mean, Grimmsnarl's immune to it. Mewtwo's immune to it because he's Dynamaxed for the next couple of turns, so we should be good. We should be good. Also, it looks like my capture card's a little bit loud. I'm going to turn that down. Hopefully it wasn't peaking at the beginning of the video. My bad, guys. My bad. All right. So in this situation, in this, in this situation, uh, I want to go for my Reflect. Get that off. Uh, and it's in my best interest to go for this Max Phantasm into the, uh, into the Zacian because it'll drop that defense. Uh, and also I should be able to eat a hit behind Reflect from this thing. They go for the Tailwind. I'm probably going to get Behemoth Bladed, but we're a pretty bulky Mewtwo. We're able to invest a lot into the bulk because the Expert Belt gives us that leeway. Like we achieve the Charizard KO quicker with less EVs, so we can invest more into bulk. So I know I love this. Even without a Reflect, I take one. Uh, so that's always very good. He's going to go for this. He's going to get a defense drop. Uh, but what he's not going to realize here is I absolutely tank that. Uh, he's going to take a decent amount of damage from this. And now he's in range of like any physical attack from, you know, Zacian. So I can even go Sacred Sword if I really wanted to. Not not play rough, obviously. Not play rough. Play rough would be dumb. Okay. Uh, there's honestly very little reason for me to... You know, <laughs> there's there's very little reason for me to um, not just go right into Incineroar here. Uh, it gives me fake out pressure. I don't have the ability to protect my uh, my guy at this point, but how much do I care about him? I don't know. Uh, I don't really need special defense. So I don't really need a light screen. Uh, it's probably my best interest just to go for the KO onto you. So I'm going to get an early Intimidate. This might allow me to live the hit. This might allow me to live the hit. And if I get rid of this guy early, that's going to be huge. On this sort of team, Groudon tends to be a Assault Vest. So I can actually take that into consideration when I'm clicking my Fake Outs. Let's see if I live. Nope. Don't quite live. Uh, but that's fine. I do have Fake Out Pressure. There's the Moonblast, and it's in my best interest to, uh, here I'm going to go for the Fake Out into a Behemoth Blade onto the Whimsicott, uh, and the reason I'm doing that is because Zacian should want to go for a Protect here, if not just switch out, uh, and by faking out the Whimsicott, I prevent the Groudon from ever being faster than me. And that's honestly what's mostly concerning here. I don't see Zacian not protecting. Actually, do I even need to Fake Out? Can I just, like, Parting Shot? How many turns of Tailwind are left? There's two turns of Tailwind. Uh, so I'm going to say... I'm going to take a little bit of risk. I'm not going to fake out. I'm going to go into Grim Snarl to keep my fake out pressure next turn. And I'm going to go for the Behemoth Blade here. As my uh, Outlook calendar reminds me, I have stuff to do today. Thank you. But yeah, uh, this is going to be a little bit of a Galaxy Brain play. They withdraw. Uh, that's fine. I actually get to get some decent damage here on the Groudon, uh, as well as still have fake out pressure next turn. So that middle ground play was actually very nice for me. And I'm more scared of the Groudon than I am of the Zacian at this point in the match. Uh, let's see if they go for the Protect. That'd be ideal. Yep, they go for the Protect. So I keep my fake out pressure. And that's absolutely huge because Groudon should be two shot here. Um, but I think I still just fake out the Groudon again. Yeah, because that's, that's going to be a two shot. They don't tend to run protect. Oh, it's Citrus Berry. Okay, this one might have protect and that's a little concerning. Uh, how much do I care? I'm thinking he's just going to want to attack anyway, so I'm going to fake out you. 
Or do I just fake out you and go for the attack? I mean, he's got one more turn of Tailwind. That's the concerning part. Uh, yikes. Okay. You know what? Regardless, uh, this is probably fine. Fake out you. Go for the Behemoth Blade into you. I live whatever the Zashi wants to go for. It's at minus one. If he switches out into the, um, into the Whimsicott, then, you know, then he, I just prevent Tailwind. So that's fine. He goes for the Behemoth Blade. That's probably going to go into our boy here. Uh, honestly, fine by me. It does literally nothing at this point. I have Reflect up still. I'm going to KO this guy. And now it's in my best interest to protect and cycle in my Incineroar. And that should be fine. Tailwind Peter's out. We still have a Reflect, obviously, so that's very nice. That's very nice. Whimsicott the once while trained. Then why didn't you keep training him? Okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and go into the Incineroar here. We're going to go for the Intimidate as well as the possible Fake Out next turn. I go for my Protect here. Um, he is likely just going to go for the P-Blades. That's fine. I shouldn't lose my Incineroar. Like, ever. Because he's going to be at minus one and he's going to be hitting me through Reflect. So we should be fine. I have to repeat these things. Uh, here's I think this is why I'm like a good YouTuber. I don't repeat these things for you, even though it might it might sound like it, 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 might, it might sound like I'm repeating them for you, right? Because you know, a good YouTuber when they're playing a game explains their thought process. I explain my thought process because if I don't say it out loud, I'm gonna forget. And that's the secret to my success, baby. <laughs> okay, so here it is. Po he goes for the Moonblast. Okay, so. Maybe I tank this. Probably not, though. I still keep my... Uh, oh, you're going to miss me? You're going to miss this Incineroar. Miss the Incineroar. No, okay. Oh, I live. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we essentially always win now. Uh, I go for the fake out into... You. I mean, if Incineroar lived that, I mean, Zacian should live. I think I double target. I could get crit then. That's the issue. But I, I can't afford to let him get a Tailwind off, otherwise I lose. I'm just going to double target the, um... Yeah, I'm going to double target the... The Whimsicott, because uh, I think that should prevent... Oh, he doesn't go for Protect. Okay, that's fine. I, I should live this on my Zacian regardless. And this was always just a little bit safer. So he would have to crit me to, like, KO me through Reflect and at minus one. Because Zacian has better defense than Incineroar. That's my mindset here. Please don't let me be wrong. Also, he could just miss, so check it out. Miss? No, he connects. We're fine. We're fine. I'm going to say it out loud because it's true. There we go. And we win. The amount of anxiety, and he crits my incinerator. Wrong crit. Uh, but yeah, the amount of anxiety that play just caused me. I was like, uh. Obviously, I could have gotten rid of the, the Groudon like five turns ago, but... The fact that it had Citrus Berry concerned me that it may have Protect, so we had to sort of, you know, we had to sort of go with what was safer. Assume that at some point this thing is going to want to Protect, but apparently I was wrong. Get my Fake out, and that'll be it. Nice. Okay, so very clean game. Uh, we were able to, well, not clean, obviously. You know, at the beginning it was very clean, and then I got a little, I got a little sloppy at the end. But uh, we were able to pick up that win pretty, pretty handily. I honestly think the the turn that really settled it was that double out into the Grim Snarl, because I was like, yeah, I mean, this, I, I had to predict the Zacian to protect, and there was no reason to fake out the Whimsicott since it doesn't have protect usually. So I was like, yeah, let's just. Let's just do this. Let's just let's just recycle my fake out for the next turn. We don't waste it in this household. I had a huge job interview yesterday. Really hoping I get that. Like the entire team seems super nice. Uh, and if I get it, I can actually, you know, move out to Boston sooner. Uh, and if I don't get it, then I'm going to have to like apply it like Home Depot in my hometown until I can find a job. But yeah, I'm hoping that I can I can get this job. I'm I'm pretty confident I'm gonna get it. I I think I impressed them enough. I was a little nervous, but they, everyone was super friendly. 
It was like a two and a half hour long interview. It was crazy. Let's see if we can get any uh, get any games here. But yeah. Any of you guys graduate recently? Looking for jobs? Good luck. Fox the One. Why does that sound familiar? I think that there are a lot of people with like the one in their usernames, and that's probably why it sounds somewhat familiar. Uh, that being said, they hate Thunderous. Like, with a passion, they hate Thunderous. I'm also going to lead off Grim Snarl because I can go for a lot of things versus this team that are super nice. Um, my Zacian looks quite good in this matchup, and I'm tempted to go Incineroar, but I'm also leaning towards Ferrothorn. I don't think Mewtwo's too necessary here. Um, yeah, I think Ferrothorn's actually going to be insane. We'll do that. Ferrothorn's always a hard Pokemon to settle on if I'm going to bring it or not, just because it's like, yeah, it's Ferrothorn and it lives like everything, but what if it doesn't, you know? It's kind of tough. All right. Yeah, I mean, I would imagine versus my team, they may lead off Landorus, but they should be concerned about the, the Thunderous. They're, they may even go, go, like, just Tailwind plus Kyogre. And even in that situation, I'm, like, set. All right. Fox the one in the beige pants. What you got? Whimsicott Thunderous? Pathetic. Pathetic. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, I should be able to go for a fake out into this Whimsicott as well as a Max Airstream. Deal with that entirely. Uh, fake out Thunderous isn't ter- or fake out Grim Snarl isn't terribly common, even though I think it's absolutely busted because of that. It's, it's like, there's, there's a, there's a Grim Snarl alignment chart in, like, Chaotic Evil is 100% fake out. Because obviously you want dual screens and spirit break. It's that last move that decides where you are in the alignment chart and fake out's Chaotic Evil. Wouldn't it be really cool if he just eerie impulsed me this turn? Wouldn't that be awesome? Looks like he doesn't Dynamax. Um, unless he's like just a super slow Thunderous. Or if he's just like a supportive Thunderous. In which case, I'm not scared of it because I'm Defiant Thunderous. It's funny that Defiant Thunderous is like a hard counter to support Thunderous. But yeah. I'm pretty slow on my, on my Thundee. Is he just slower? He's just slower. Okay, that's good to know, because uh, I max Airstream this turn, so I should remain faster. Unless he has, like, an, an identical set to me, because I think mine is speed crept for a one... I forget. I forget what I'm speed crept for. Oh, it's speed crept for Lando. That's what it is. So I just want to outspeed Lando. Get my fake out off. Uh, this is going to KO the Whimsicott, unless it's running max defense Cobra Bear. Uh, what?! Okay, so it's not going to fake out the Whimsicott, uh, but we're going to get some pretty schmassive damage on whatever is in the back. Uh, and I shouldn't drop to anything that the Thunders can do on my Grim Snarl, Unless he's got, like, Iron Tail, Max Steel Spike. Uh, then, then I drop to that, and then we're in trouble. But uh, this should at least allow me to go for screens. And yeah, we're going to get massive damage off on Kyogre. Like, this is whatever. Faux Shizzle. The Drizzle has hit the field. Alright, yeah. Uh... Half? Do half? Okay, you did half. That means I can just do it again. Uh, I'm more likely going to go for a Reflect here because of that. Maybe. Oh, okay, yeah. That did more than I thought it would. Uh, if it's Scarf Kyogre, I'm sort of forced to go for... Um, I'm sort of forced to go for Light Screen here, unfortunately. Just to make sure I don't get annihilated. So I'm just going to max airstream it again. I'm going to go for my light screen. Because if it is Scarf, it can still outspeed us now. So we're just covering our bases. Obviously, Reflect is better if we're not scared of Scarf Kyogre, but we're scared of everything on this channel. Yep, there it is. Glad I went for that. Very, very good play. Very good play. Good job, Marcos. High five. All right, that's going to be a KO. I was going to say, like, the way that it ate that hit, the way that I did 50% to it, 
made me think, okay, I either got the highest roll possible or that's Scarf, because bulkier Kyogres do not take half for Max Airstream on my set. Max Lightning. Ow. Okay, Life Orb hurts. Life Orb hurts quite a bit. Uh, but I am going to get through to Reflect Off, uh, and I can... I mean, if it's if it's Helping Hand Whimsicott, I'm in, I'm in a little bit of trouble, truth be told. Truth be told, if it's Helping Hand Whimsicott, I'm in a bit of trouble. Uh, I mean, I could just go Ferrothorn and Reflect. Unless it's Brick Break, that's not a bad play. Because while Zacian can take on a Thunderous when it's not Dynamaxed, when it is, it's a little bit annoying. Alright, yeah. Uh, hopefully we don't get taunted, because I am literally just going to go ahead and Iron Defense and Reflect here and cheese the rest of this game. Iron Defense, Reflect. We already have our screens. Um, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. If he's Life Orb, he might have Protect. Uh, and if he has Protect, that means he might have Max Darkness over Max Knuckle. Helping Hand? Oh, that's gonna be... That's gotta be, like, Airstream, right? I'm pretty sure Airstream does more than Knuckle in this situation. And it is Knuckle, but... I mean, I probably eat it okay. Yeah, I mean, I take less than half. Yeah. I mean, next turn, I think I know what I do. I literally just go for a Spirit Break onto that. Onto that Whimsicott and uh, protects my Ferrothorn here. Okay. We also have to figure out if it's Brick Break or Superpower, so... Let's protect here. If he Brick Breaks anything, it's probably going to be Ferrothorn. Uh, and I'll go for the Spirit Break onto the Whim. He may not have Protect. I'm also fairly sure I actually take a superpower from this range. He does have Protect. Okay, huge, huge. What are you going to do here? I actually think I might double the Thunderous this turn with, um, it's going for Energy Ball, okay. That doesn't do a lot. Uh, this next turn I'm going to double the Thunderous. Because he should be in range of Body Press plus uh, Spirit Break. Maybe not, actually. Maybe that's, maybe that's dumb. Maybe that's dumb and stupid and dumb. Um, okay. Okay, hear me out. I Iron Defense again. And I'll just go for the Spirit Break on the Whimsicott, why not? Switcheroo? Uh, I mean, what are you taking for me? For my, my leftovers? That's fine. It's kind of fine by me, actually. Superpower? Okay, that's fine. I should eat that. Awesome. While I did lose leftovers recovery, that's huge because he's going to be in range of... Um, he's going to be in range of an attack from... What was it called? Zacian. But I have to get Zacian in. That's the big issue here. Don't KO Whimsicott, because then we have to deal with something more... Oh, that's going to be bad. I was going to say, we have to deal with something a little bit scarier than that now. Alright. Um, how do I do this? I lost all my recovery. I think the only way I get away with this is I have to protect Ferrothorn this turn and Spirit Break Calyrex and survive whatever attacks come into my uh, Grimmsnarl. Which, uh, Grimmsnarl should live an attack from Calyrex, but he's gonna have to also take a hit from the Thunderous. That's the concerning part. Maybe, maybe it's not the end of the world, but I always protect her. Yeah, and I go for the Spirit Break onto the Calyrex, because if he does KO me, then he's not gonna be at plus two. Or, if he goes me, he's not gonna be at plus one, he's gonna be at neutral. And also it breaks a possible Sash, which should put it in range of Zacian. And then Zacian can beat Thunderous, and that's like the main concern I have. Goes to the Wild Charge. Okay, I think that's fine, because now... Is that fine? Is that fine, though? 
It depends. I kind of need like a super, super high roll. <laughs> I kind of need like a super high roll here. Electricity disappeared. I do have light screen up and I do have a reflect up. We didn't see the item on this thing. Life Orb might actually be better for us because that might KO it after this uh, Behemoth Blade, but I'm not sure. Okay, uh, let me think. So, I'm going to lose my Ferrothorn anyways. Protecting's better so it doesn't get a plus one at the end of the turn, or there's a 30% chance for that to happen, so I just attack. Alright, fail to protect, so I need this to KO. Wild Charge. Alright, unless it's like Specs, I should take this, but it's going to be such a close endgame now. All right, that's not specs. It might be Sash, and if it's Sash, I lose. Oh, that looks like Sash. All right, let's see if I can crit here, and it's not Sash. Maybe it's Spell Tag. Maybe we got lucky. Oh no! Oh, that's that's not good. That's uh, that's not good. That's what we call in, in that's that's what we in the business call bad, actually. Uh, yeah, it's Sash. And I lose. <laughs> it's all good, though. Uh, but yeah, looks like my dog wants to be let out. And also, I'm hitting the 30-minute mark any second now. So we're going to go ahead and call it there. I do survive that hit, but I'm about to get KO'd by this, by this attack right here. Very close second game. Very fun second game, actually. But yeah. Uh, Life Orb Thundy kind of caught me off guard. I'm not used to seeing it as much anymore. You tend to see AV, but uh, yeah, Life Orb's still super threatening. But... Let me know what you guys think about the team in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hopefully I'll, you know, have time to actually ladder up into, like, Master Ball, because these were my first two games of the season. <laughs> but yeah, have a nice one. Bye.